right, welcome back for another episode of Chasing Ghosts. This is the video series where I talk about those hard to find, those impossible to find comics, those really, really tough books that you got to get lucky, do some legwork, and uh, really do some uh, do some extra effort and try to track them down because they're not that easy to find. Like you're not just going to go see them on the Wall Street LCS anytime you go there on a Wednesday. Hopefully you're enjoying this series as well as everything else here on the channel. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, you hit that alert button so you don't miss anything. You keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel. And uh, make sure you check out that link below for that free $15 to try out whatnot if you haven't tried it before. Again, no obligations. It's free $15 on me. Take it. Sign up, use it, and if you do, you help out the channel, and uh, I would appreciate it. So, with that all said, if you want to see the books I got for you this week, I do have a few more hidden gems along, among a couple of little things we're to add in from the last time out. But uh, I got a new selection of books, and if you want to see them, all you got to do is hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and I will be right back. <laughs> So we're not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. We are going to go with, again, a few more hidden gems. Uh, these things are kind of odd because there really does seem to be more than you might think out there. We saw that the last time out where even though you do that uh, ratio math based off of orders, etc., and the ratio, there's supposed to be some high ratio things like one to one hundreds. We see a lot of them out there. And a lot of times you'll find these sneaking their way into some of these overstock packs like you might find at walmart or five and below uh ollies etc like the just oddball things where somehow these books find their way out there that probably shouldn't uh and with that said let's get into our first book which is uh it's kind of a favorite because it's jim lee you guys know by now i'm a jim lee fan they took this poster and they made it a cover and i think it's kind of cool so this is X-Men Children of the Atom number one. Uh, like I said, this is the front cover. It's a wraparound, so you can see the full image of all these X-Villains. It's pretty cool. I dig it. I, like, I liked it when I you know, saw it the first time inside the, the guts of the original X-Men run. But being used as a cover, I think this is pretty cool. This is a 1 in 100 by Jim Lee. This came out in March of 2021. So that being pandemic time, we don't have an accurate count anyway. So even with our unreliable ratio math, it's even more unreliable because we have literally no idea how many they actually made of this thing. What I can tell you, though, is that in the CGC census, there are a decent number for a 1 in 100. There are a lot of these out there. There's 236 total. 206 9 8s, 21 9 sixes, and then a few others rounding that out. But that's a lot of graded books for a book that's supposedly uh, really, really tough. That said, let's see. When we go and do the do our research and do our digging, we see what's actually out there. What's sold? Well, not a lot of sales. And even the ones that did sell, it's going for not what you might expect. Uh, nine four, three bids, about 130 bucks. And then it looks like a nine eight with 19 bids, got over 200. But this is a one in 100 incentive. Even if you do the ratio and then plus the grading fee, 200 bucks ain't that much for a one in 100, really. So uh, just one of those things. Granted, it is at auction, and auctions are always a dicey proposition with books that, you know, yeah, like nobody's looking for Children of the Atom 1. This is just, just a random 1 in 100 hidden gems variant that uh, maybe somebody stumbled across and decided to bid it up. Because if you did want to get one, you got plenty of options right now if you wanted to go shopping for one. And once again, they're not that bad. Uh, I mean, you can start an auction, 100 bucks for a 9.6. Raw? $200 will buy one for you outright. You'd, you you want to get one signed? Well, there's a couple signed options. Four or $500, though. A little bit pricier. And then we got another raw that's looking at $245. So, yes, the ones listed right now are pretty expensive when you look at the raw copies. $200, $245. And yet, if you wanted to play at the auction game at the time, $100 bucks for a 9.6 isn't that bad of a starting point for a 1 in 100 incentive. Just saying. But point being, there are more than even these examples out there. So there's plenty of this one to go around. So we know where we're going to put this one once we get to the end. 
Uh, and I got to worry if we're going to even get any uh, ghosts this time out because uh, we'll see. Again, I don't know the answers before I just select these books. I grab a selection of books. I put together what makes sense to me, and then I do the research. So who knows where we're going to end up? Because, again, this is a slice of time. This is a moment in time. We do this exercise with these same books a few months later. Results could be completely different. Market could be bare. Who knows? But with that all said, let's look at our next one, which is another X-related 1 in 100 incentive. This time, it's Excalibur. And yes, it's sideways, so just so you can get a better look, I'll turn it on its side so you can get a better look at this uh, Alan Davis piece, because it is pretty cool. You got King Arthur in the background, uh, and you got the, the old school Excalibur team there. Uh, eh, kind of like it. But anyway. 1 in 100, Alan Davis. This was from October of 2019 for Excalibur number one. New number one during the reboot time for these X titles. Decent number printed. So with over 83,000, we could do our estimate and say there's possibly 830 of these. Once again, this is our Comicron estimated print run numbers and our incentive math. If it's a 1 in 100, divide that overall run by 100. That's where we get this number. It is not 100% set in stone. It is just a guard whale. It's the best we got. And it's just, again, it's a piece of a, it's a piece of the puzzle. You got to put them all together because there's no 100% accurate way of knowing how many of these are out there. What I can tell you is that in the CGC census, there are only 59, 59 eights, six, nine sixes, and then a couple of others. I can also tell you that this book actually sells and it doesn't sell for all that much. Look at some of these auctions all around i don't know who got a hold of these because it looks like it's the same seller or a similar seller with the pictures selling this book out at auction just throwing them up there and they are only getting like 15 bucks to 25 dollars for this one in 100 so they must have gotten a stock somewhere maybe it was a diamond diamond overstock sale that i've heard so much about where they went in they had these variants up for really really cheap they bought a bunch of them and now they're just blowing them out for whatever they can get i've seen it happen before i've heard of it happening before Maybe that's what this is. As you can see, these all kind of staggered out a little bit throughout the month of March. But with that said, if you wanted to go and buy one now, despite all of these auctions, we've only got two. And neither of them are part of those auctions. So maybe they blew through their stock already. Whoever had all of those, maybe they got rid of all of them. Because now it's either 100 bucks or $130. So two. I only found two. So came close, but no cigar there. Let's move on to our next title. Right around the same time, X-Men was restarting all these new books, Hellions. Hellions, number one. I dig this cover. I like the, that they used a very simple image by Jim Lee, and then they did that kind of uh, echo fade in the background to help fill it out so it wasn't just this blank white cover with nothing. I think it's a nice effect. I, I think it looks pretty nice this way. But it is, again, a 1 in 100 from March of 2020. Print run on this is nowhere near as high as Excalibur. It's only at about 55000 so our incentive could possibly be about 557 Again, it's estimate. It's not gospel. With that, in the census, there are 71. So despite there being less copies, potentially, there are more in the census right now for this book. Is it because it's Psylocke? Is it because it's Jim Lee instead of Alan Davis? Most likely. But regardless, there are still 71 in the census talking about 46 nine, uh, nine eights, nine, nine sixes, seven, nine fours, and then a bunch of others rounding that out. No copies of this, however, have sold over the last three months. I looked, couldn't find any that moved. And then when I went to go find what you could buy, if you wanted to go searching and uh, hunting for yourself, I did find two. Only two, but two nonetheless. I found a blue labeled 96 for 200 bucks, and I found a signature series signed by Jim Lee 98 looking for $600 with 17 watchers. So, not a cheap book. Again, I think it's the cover, the cover subject, etc., kind of helping this one about. But still, there were two. So, let's move on to our next book. And uh, we're sticking with our theme right now. Doing a lot of these X titles from the time. This time out, we're looking at Inferno, number one. This is a cover by uh, Udon, Udon, you know, the, the the publisher that makes the Street Fighter books. Uh, so January 2022, 1 in 100. 
this Inferno book is right around the same as Hellions. It's about 62,000 plus. So our incentive might be around 630. Again, best guess. Best guess on what we've got. Uh, but it is a pretty cool Mystique cover. In the census, people do uh, have a couple, but not many. Unlike the last book, only 15. So we're looking at 998, 696s, six, six, and that's it. So not a lot of books subbed for this particular one. Why? I don't know. It's a 1 in 100. It is Mystique, whose popular character it is a nice-looking cover. But it's possible that they're not subbing it because it doesn't sell for all that much. Once again, auctions. Somebody's auctioning these off. 17, 18 bucks, 26 bucks. And then yet, there are an occasional buy it now for 90. More what I would expect. If you wanted to buy one, yeah, you do got options. So let's look at what's out there right now. More than these four, but still, they're not those cheap auctions. So whoever had those auctions seemed to have blown through them because now we're looking at 75, uh, about 100 bucks, up to $190 for this one. So it's still under ratio, but for the most part. And then you get the occasional higher ask. But regardless, multiple available. So it's out there if you wanted one. Now, let's move on. Next book. Again, I told you, we might not get any uh, guinea go ghosts this week. Because uh, some of these, they seem to be a little plentiful. Or more plentiful than I would have expected. But it is what it is. X-Force, number one. Reused McFarlane art. Yes. So uh, this was a Todd McFarlane. I think it's part of the Spider-Man run. They reused this art to now put it on an X-Force cover. This was uh, from November of 2019. So we do have some estimates for you for this Todd cover. It is a healthy print run. So we're looking at 105,000 plus, which would potentially give us just over 1,000 for this 1 in 100 incentive. This 1 in 100 incentive. Hidden Gems Incentive could have as many as a 1,000 copies out there. Just saying, with our math, with our ratio math. In the census, another decent number, 174 total, with 159 eights, 17 nine sixes, and then a handful of others rounding that out. Decent submissions on this one. But again, it's Todd McFarlane, so we shouldn't be that surprised. It's a 1 in 100 incentive. Also, shouldn't be surprised people's got this thing graded. People also buy this thing. I have a handful of sales as examples. Granted, they range from uh, anywhere from $200 to $250 for Raws and or 9 eights. But that's what we're looking at. I mean, that's the same thing. Look, Raw, 186 Raw, 250 bucks. 9 8 215 at auction. 31 bids, 255 People still putting these things up at auction. I think that if they would have listed this with a higher uh, ask on those nine eights, they might have gotten more than the two hundreds. Maybe they get three or four. I don't know. Just based off of what people are willing to pay for the raw copies, I think you can get a couple bucks extra for a nine eight if you don't auction it and you're patient. With that said, when I went looking to see how many would be out there, considering this seemed to be the highest print run we've hit so far today and potentially the most available copies. I was surprised to find none. Yes, couldn't find any when I went looking. I tried and tried. I looked. I searched multiple ways. Couldn't find any of this one. Once again, I don't know the answers going in. It is what it is when I do my research. So here we go. X-Force 1, couldn't find any. With that, let's pivot to a little bit something different. Uh, we're not going to do hidden gems now. We're going to shift on over to the Marvel future fight firsts or whatever they were. They did these one shots for these newer characters, the new Agents of Atlas characters, and they gave us these Virgin 1-100 covers. I believe this was the Luna Snow one. This is a cover done by In Hyuk Lee. He did all three of these. Uh, 1-100, October 2019. Uh, like I said, this was, I believe, the Luna Snow one shot and uh, print run was way down. It print was only 18,000. And then the incentive, if we do that math, would tell us there's under 200 copies with only 187 copies. That's if we do the ratio math. Does that mean that's how many there are? I highly doubt it. I seriously doubt that that's an accurate number because I don't think they would even bother turning the printers on to just print 200 copies of this thing or under 200 copies of this thing. And when you look in the census, granted, 
there's not a lot graded either. There's only 19, but that also doesn't mean that they're not out there. It's just nobody's getting them subbed. 1696s, there's uh, 698s, 196, and a pair of 70s for some reason. I don't know, two 70s. A uh, couple copies sold, so it does sell, but not frequently, apparently. One of them sold for, at auction. Once again, why people auction these things, I don't know. 67 bucks, and then you can see there, along with one of the other books we're going to get to in a moment, so a pair of them, 83 bucks for the two. These are both 1 in 100 variants, and they only got 83 bucks for the pair at auction on 24 bids, but still at auction. Just a reminder, if you were a seller of one of these things, auction is probably not the best way to get the most for your money. You will sell it, and you might get something, but you got to you know accept what you do. With that, there actually weren't a lot of these out there when I went shopping. Uh, and they weren't cheap either when you look at it in certain lights. I mean, yes, on the one hand, you can get a 9.8 of it for $200. On the other hand, you can also get the same book in a 9.8 for almost $1,000, depending on the seller. Granted, they're both ASCII prices. And neither are sold yet, so it doesn't matter. They can ask whatever they like. The market will pay what the market wants to pay. And for right now, 200 seems to be a bridge too far. And a thousand is way too far. But still, only two, which I found surprising. A little surprising, because, you know, I just expected to see more. With that said, the next one we're going to look at is the White Fox, I believe the character's name is. Uh, and yes, another in Yuck Lee, 1 in 100, these one shots, these future fight firsts, or whatever they're called. It's They're tough to look up if you want to look them up in the census, because you've got to get that pre. The, that future fight first right and then where the colon is and then and then the different books point being it's paying the butt to search in the census estimated print run though on this one's a little bit more than the last at about eighteen thousand, which uh or no i think they're about the same huh no about the same um and their incentive at 181 181 potential copies i still doubt it but that's what our ratio math would tell us that's all that's out there but i don't believe that's all that's out there this one, for whatever reason, has 114 in the CGC census. The Luna Snow, not so much. This one, 114. Why? I don't know. 86 9 8s, 18 9 6s, and then a few others filling that out. But 114 of a potential 181 copies? Something seems fishy, right? There's more copies than you think. Point being, there is still a decent number of graded copies for whatever reason of this one but not the Luna Snowbook. Don't know. Looking at the market, well, here's some example sales. 9.8 sold with one bid, 250 bucks. Not bad. Considering a raw copy sold at auction for only $27. And then the pair, uh, the, not the pair, all three of them, because again, there's a third one coming. We didn't get there yet, but you can see the Luna Snow in the middle and the White Fox and the next one we're drawing. 330 bucks for the three of them. A little over ratio for each. Tiny bit over ratio, but over nonetheless. Interesting. Prices are all over the place, is my point. The second point is, unlike the last book, which these are basically the same. They came out around the same time, same subject matter, same cover artist, same setup with the one, you know, the portrait, virgin covers, and yet crap load more in the census for this one and a crap load more available on the market if you want to buy one 100 bucks raw 350 for a 98 400 for a raw 500 for a 98 and those are just examples but point being it's still not cheap but there are a lot more copies out there for one reason or another of this book but not the luna snow but again that's right now a few months down the road could be completely different they could flip-flop for all i know uh, that would take a little bit more research and a little bit more legwork than I'm willing to put in right now. So this is our moment in time snapshot. Moment in time snapshot tells you if you want this white fox, you know, one in 100, you can get one. You just got to pay for it. With that said, we already saw the tease of our third one. Here it is, our last uh, in Hyuk Lee, one in 100. This was, uh, again, EO, I think it's Crescent and EO, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, but again, it's another one shot for these future fight firsts. Uh, one in 100, November 2019. So this came out a month after the last two. 
I think it was like November 1st. So like they were just a couple of weeks apart. They were just kind of staggered. Uh, 15,000 on this one. So this one's lower than the other ones. So that would put our incentive potentially at 157. Again, I don't believe that number to be accurate, but that's what our ratio math would tell us. In the census, once again, unlike the one in the middle, only 13. So this is more like the lunar snow. Five nine eights, there's a nine six, a nine four, three nine twos, three nine oh's. That's all of them. Hmm. Well, again, I don't think it's because there's a limited number of copies. I just don't think anybody's decided to submit this one because it doesn't sell for what one might hope a one in one hundred would sell for. It. Despite the fact that the only sales I could find for this one were in lots with the other two. So these were in sets. And the set sold for anywhere from $260, $260 to $330. Meanwhile, if you wanted to go shopping for one, I did find some. I, in fact, found four listings. Raw's looking for $60 to $100. Nine-eighths looking for $250 to $616. Who knows? where this one actually falls. Point being, be careful. Be careful. Uh, just because, again, we do that math, it doesn't mean that's all that's out there. I do this math just to give you a baseline, a guess of what the ratio would tell you it should be, but that doesn't mean what it is in actuality. In actuality, whatever copies are printed are out there, and we'll never know the exact number, no matter how much we kick and scream, beg and plead. There's no one to give us that information that's going to be 100% accurate. So... We make do with what we have, and uh, we do things like look at the market, and you make your own call of what you want to do if you are interested in any of these books. That said, we're not done. It sounds like I'm wrapping up. We're not done yet. Uh, I think I got a couple more for you. Our next one ties loosely to these two because we're talking about these uh, agents of new, new agents of Atlas characters who a lot of people are still hoping make their way to the MCU. I don't see it, but who knows? This time out, we've got Tiger Division, number one. I believe this is Luna Snow uh, gracing us on the cover once again. This is another Virgin cover, 1 in 100, this time by uh, Archer. So Stanley Lau, it's Archer. This one came out in November of 2022. So we don't know what the print run estimates are to do our incentive math, the 1 in 100. We don't know. We have to make our guesses. I can tell you what's in the census, though, and there's a decent number, like that white fox. There's 147 in the CGC census, with 135 of them being 9.8s, 9.96s, 2.94s, and a 9.2. This also sells. Copy sold, more than just what I'm showing here. Raws can go from anywhere to 35 to 100 bucks, and no graded sales that I have in my examples, but a lot of $37 at auction with bids so once again people get these somehow some way throw them up for auction and they'll just take whatever that one's a buy it now for uh 35 bucks but yet the others are buying now for like 100 bucks and their sales dates are 10 days apart so that doesn't make sense to me either but if you wanted to go shopping for one to see what the market is asking because you are interested and you're like hey 35 bucks ain't bad i'll pay 35 bucks for one of these well We'll see if we can help you out there. But for right now, even though there's more than what I have listed, I didn't see anything starting that low. You'll have to pay outright 116 to 190 for Raws, or that seems a bit too much. You can always get a 9.8 graded for you already. 125, 150 bucks. Not too bad for a 1 in 100 when you think about it. But it is what it is. More copies than you might need or want are out there. So we know we're going to file that one too. With our last book being one more hidden gem, we're going to go pivot back to hidden gems. And it's going to be a more of a recent book and do something a little bit different. We're going to Moon Knight just because I wanted to fill it out and do something different. Uh, and this is the Bill Sienkiewicz cover. So this is a one in 200 incentive from December of 2023. So this is only like four months ago. This is uh, right before... This is the final issue of Moon Knight, Jed McKay's run. Moon Knight dies, and then we get Vengeance of Moon Knight starting in January with, uh, now we know who the new Moon Knight is, but a new Moon Knight. So this is only a few months ago. One in 200. Being only a few months ago, we still don't have a good way to get us estimated numbers for print run because 
There's too many publishers, there, no, too many distributors, I should say, not publishers, distributors. You got Diamond, you, you got uh, Diamond's still going, but they're getting their books either from Penguin or Lunar, and you can get them directly from Penguin or Lunar. Some publishers are going, are available here, but not there. Some stuff comes out on Tuesdays, other stuff comes out on Wednesdays. Dark Horse is losing stuff here and there. It's it's a headache. It's a headache trying to figure all this out. So I can only imagine what Comicron's trying to do to get the, uh, you know, relevant information to help provide us because that's what they've been doing for years. Uh, again, we'll see. We'll see if we can get anything nailed down that gives us a better sense than what we have at the moment. But for now, we don't know. In the census, there are only five. This was surprising. I figured I'd see more than five, uh, knowing it's a one in 200. So there's not going to be a ton of these out there. I mean, only the big, big time retailers are going to order enough to, you know, be able to secure one of these. And there probably haven't been diamond blowout sales yet to get rid of uh, unsold copies, but uh, only five in the census. And all of them are nine eights. And with that said, one of them sold and it sold for a decent amount, 400 bucks. Uh, that was back in February, but that's the one sale I could find over the last three months for one of these uh, one in two hundreds. And as far as available copies go, well, surprisingly, I found three. I found three. Granted, they're all raw and they're all expensive. Three eleven, four hundred, five hundred dollars. So big asks on those one in two hundreds because it is well Sinkevich doing Moon Knight. So you got one of the classic artist doing one of the classic characters on a super high ratio book semi-recent sold for a decent amount yeah so they're gonna ask a decent amount but with three copies we know where we need to put this and with that said we can wrap up now and uh give our uh give our take on all of these these books with that said most of these had more than one copy Again, to call it a ghost, by our rules that we're doing now, it's either one or none on the market. And most of these had at least two copies. Yes, the Hellions only had two. I think the uh, Luna Snow one only had two. And the Moon Knight only had three, but still multiple copies available for most of these. Put them all in the hard-to-find categor categorization, while the only book and the one with the highest print run is the one that I found that we can call a ghost this week because I couldn't find any on the market at the moment. Again, that's how the game's played. That said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And that's our show for this week. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking this out. I appreciate all the support. Uh, plenty more content coming your way. Make sure you come back for all the shows dropping almost every day. Uh, check out the links below. Think about joining up for a membership and getting early access to some of these videos. Think about using that uh, free $15 to sign up for whatnot if you haven't tried it before. Again, it's free money. Just take it, buy whatever you want for yourself. I'm not saying you have to buy from any particular person or buy from me or anything like that. You do what you want with it. It's yours to take and try. So, and if you do, like I said, you will help out the channel by doing so. Because uh, as a whatnot ambassador, we will get a little something back if you go and give it a shot. So with that said, uh, I appreciate it and I uh, appreciate all your time. All right. I'll see you all later.